right. Welcome to the Mechanical Age. We're being greeted by this large half gear. Looks somewhat familiar. But there's no book inside, so currently we have no known means of returning home. Or, to mist. Looks like some construction worker dumped a bunch of props all over the beach to set the mood for us. And we got buttons. More buttons. Another one of these combination lock things. I don't know what the combination is here. Um, but I don't know what this thing does anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, this is a steel walkway. doesn't really go anywhere. And a monster donut gear. Okay. Over here, we have the mechanical fortress that we saw on the flyby. I uh, got some gears underneath it. A little ring going around it. A little playground over there. But, other than that, I don't really see much else out here. So, what's in the fortress? Apparently music. And we can go right, or we can go left. Let's go left. Well, this room looks interesting. Whoa. Um, I'm not clicking on these things, guys. Clicking, clicking doesn't really do anything. Um, I'm just waving my hand over the magic crystals and they glow. Okay. I uh, got some kind of chamber pot here. And above the crystals, we have a painting of a mountain landscape or something. But it's kind of dark, so can't really tell. Uh, over here is a telescope looking out the window. Oh my god, there's a floating hand outside! Sorry, that was stupid. And over here, we got toys. We got some toys here. A model of the clock tower back on Mist. Actually, it looks different from the one on Mist. Um, got a model of the ship. And the other ship. There's another chamber pot. And another painting. Should I feel stupid for not knowing what this one is? I mean, it looks familiar. I feel like I should know what this is, but I don't. Maybe one of you guys can tell me, and the rest of you can laugh at me for not knowing. Ooh, but I know who this is. This is, um, this is Napoleon. Um, I know because he was really short, so he looked kind of goofy holding this pike up here. But if you laughed at him, then he would kill you, and it wouldn't really be funny anymore. There's another chamber pot. Jeez, do these guys have some major gastric problems or what? And here's a marble throne. With a gong for a headrest. And, oh yes, the 6x6 checkerboard. I remember this one from the original. Um, you could zoom in on it in the original, but you couldn't interact with it. However, I heard somewhere that in the resource files, uh, there was a picture of this thing opened. I think it was a music box or something. But I mean there could have been like an Easter egg to access it, but I don't I don't know any anything more than that. Uh here's a tapestry of some sort. I feel kind of bad not knowing what this is. There's a lot going on here. Except it's kind of faded. Oh look! A uh wind up toy. And it makes the birdie go. Whoever owns this thing is easily entertained. Much like me, actually. Um, whoa, this, uh, this wall is a different color. Yeah, look at that, I found the secret door. Whoa, that's some ominous music there. And treasure chests and money, do I win? I found the money. That's all we care about, right? Well, actually, we can't take the money, that's right. But we can take this, how about this? We found the, uh, the red page for Cirrus. So we can go deliver that as soon as we find a way back to Mist. I still think it's dumb that we can't pick up the money. Not even the solid gold bars sitting right there in the open treasure chest. Come on, that's really pushing it, Cyan. And of course, we can't take this wine either. Come on, that's just ridiculous. 
So what if there isn't any use for it? I still want it. But I bet we can take this piece of paper. Yep, sure enough. We must be really weak. Anyway. Cirrus, your greed sickens me. Your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax, and you know they'll listen to me. Regards, Akinar. I probably should have said that in a crazy voice, huh? But anyway, uh, that's some interesting food for thought, isn't it? This is evidently Cirrus's room, right? Because it's got all the wealth and plunder in it. And, well, I guess we should have figured that out um, after we found the red page. Um, but not only is Cirrus the greedy one, but Akinar's calling him out for it. So when we're thinking about whether we should be bringing back red or blue pages, this is something we should perhaps be taking into account. Now let's get out of here. And the sun is setting outside. Can we sit in this throne? Oh, yes we can, okay. Eh, it's marble. What do you expect? Um, this doorway is not the one that we came in through, so this will lead to the back of the fortress with an obvious red button. Hold on, let's, let's see what we're dealing with first, then we'll push the button. Um, we got some kind of circle here and a glass door protecting said circle. We can walk around said circle, and eh, this is kind of boring. Let's just push the button and see what happens. Okay, so it's another secret passage. Well, that's not actually very secret, is it? Um, the music changed. Whoa, this has got some kind of heavy equipment in here. Um, whoa, what? Um. Yeah, it's preventing, these pipes are preventing me from exploring the room very much. But that's okay, it's probably, I probably shouldn't be messing with this equipment anyway. So, um, what does the console do? Uh, we got two concentric almost circles and a lever that spins a gear. Whoa. Whoa, okay, so it turns red. Maybe we should turn, stop when it turns red. So what does that do? Wait. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, I outsmarted you. You have to, if you're going really fast, you have to pull, pull back early. Yeah, okay, so this is open now. So now this thing is open, and we can get to this thing, which is... Ah, oh, it's an elevator. I probably can't go down, huh? Because that's where I just came from. Let's go up. Wait a minute. Is that some kind of third button? Why do we have a third button? What does that do? It disables the other buttons. Okay, so it is literally a middle button. We are actually between the two floors. And it kills the music, too. And that's entirely pointless. Wait, the music started again. Oh, so if we get too close to the door, the music starts up again, okay. But I don't see why we need a get stuck in the elevator button. It's fun for the kids, I guess, but not for me.